Hey everybody, it's Levi Stanford here. I just thought I'd show you a project that I've recently finished that I've been working on for a long time. I bought a truck from an auction yard a while back with tons of hail damage on it. And I wanted to sell it, but I knew I wouldn't make anything selling it with hail damage, right? So I decided, stupid decision, because man, it's a pain in the neck, but I fixed all the hail damage on it, and I put rims and lights and everything, and it turned out pretty nice. Um, the main purpose of this video is I wrapped her bed line the entire truck. I got lazy and after I had pulled all the dents out and bonded them, I didn't want to sit there for hours and hours fine sanding everything so it was perfect for paint. And my friend was like, hey, just wrapped her bed line it. And I'm like, yeah. So I did. And I think it turned out great. And the thing is it covers up anything. You could, even all the scratches that I did have left from my um, coarse sanding covered up fine. Anyways, I'll show you. Um, I didn't take any before pictures of my truck, unfortunately, because I'm a moron. But I did keep my hood, and my hood, you'll just have to imagine what the rest of the truck looked like. But um, I bought a new hood, put it on and everything, but I kept my old one just to show what the truck used to look like. So this was the old hood that was on there. You can just tell it's just been mangled by hail. Um, so what I used to get the hail out was, it's called a stinger spot welder. It spot welds these little uh, rods onto the thing. And then you put a slide hammer over it and tighten it up. And then you just yank and hammer it out and it pulls the dents out. Then you got to go in with a grinder, grind the tabs off, um, sand it and stuff, and then bondo. And it's such, it takes forever, but it turned out really nice. Anyway, so that's what my truck used to look like. This is what it looks like now. Too wicked. No, I think it turned out really good. You can't even tell there are any dents or anything on it. Um, you can see the Raptor bed liner um, texture. Stuff like this whole corner was smashed in. I had to pull that out in three different spots and bondo it and form it and then all that fun stuff. But you can't even tell now. The roof looked exactly like that hood. It's all fixed. Looks perfect. It's just. This looks all looks brand new. You couldn't even tell that there was anything wrong with it. So, start off. You can see the texture is different. That's because of the Raptor bed liner. Now I put the bed liner on, and then I did a clear coat, make it look a little bit shinier, and to kind of protect it. But oh man, the stuff is great. Like it's solid, and stuff like this, you would expect it to kind of flick off if anything hit it. But seriously, like I could pick at it all day, and this stuff is great, especially. Um, the thing I love about it is if you have paint and you get scratched or anything and you want to fix it, you got to pretty much repaint the whole area of where it is because it's really hard to match it with the factory paint job unless you're really good and I'm not. So this stuff is perfect for an average Joe like me who isn't the greatest at, you know, painting and stuff because if you get scratching this or whatever, all you got to do is sand it, put some, um, you know, adhesion stuff on there, and then go over it again, and it looks brand new. It's awesome. Um, I'll show you some of the stuff I did to the truck. I bought a brand new, um, better built box. Got this thing on sale. Looks awesome. Kind of adds to the truck. I uh, bought these LED tail lights. Wired them in. They caused me some problems, but I got them figured out. They look great. And down here, I got an LED bar. Um, yeah, so this thing, when I push on the brake, the whole thing lights up, and then it signals right and left. Now, in combination with the light bar, these, and then my brake light up here, whenever you step on the brakes, these things light up so bright. They're like, pretty much like your headlights, but red. This is what it looks like with the lights on. You can't really, it doesn't do it justice because it's daytime right now, but with the combination of all of these, this is kind of what it looks like on the wall. Super bright. If no one's paying attention and you are push on your brakes, that, that's going to let them know right away that you're stopping, you know. Ain't nobody going to tailgate you. Uh, I redid the whole bed with the Raptor liner. It just looks clean and fresh. It's awesome. Um, this stuff right here is just water residue and whatnot. I just got back from the car wash. Anyways, um, so when I was doing it, I took my whole box off and... Raptor bed line, the whole frame underneath to stop from rust and stuff. And then if you look down here, you can't really see where very well, but I Raptor bed line my whole entire um, wheel well 
through the fronts and the backs. They're all done with the Raptor bed liner. Makes it tough and you know scratch free. They won't rust and then can't tell but I did my frame with it too. Um, these rims got off eBay. They're Rockstar XD rims. Got uh, the full set of four for about a little under $700. Super deal. Pretty sweet. Got a chrome gas cap. Um, these lines right here, factory, they're chrome. You know, just a little decorative. But I painted them black just to match the rest of my truck. It's going for a black look. Um, it looks awesome. I love doing it. Um, this is my favorite part of the truck. Is the front and the grill. Yeah, this this hood scoop here I bought I bought my uh, hood and I threw this on there and I wrapped a bed line the whole thing, did the front in black, put this insert in there. Looks great, looks mean. Um, this grill is probably my most disappointing. Not by the look, it looks great, but when I was looking online to buy grills. I saw this whole setup here, this whole grill for 500 bucks, and I thought, well, you know, $500, that's, for me, that's a lot of money to pay on a grill or a car part, but I was like, you know, whatever. It looks really nice. It'll look great with my truck. So I, I bought it. Instead of reading the description, I would have found out when the mail came, guess what I got? Freaking inserts, man. 500 bucks just for these inserts and this this brand right here. It's because of this guy. Yeah, so that's all I got was these inserts. I was kind of ticked because it was past the return date, so I couldn't return them, so I had to deal with them. So I put them in my old grill, painted the Chevy emblem black, and my old inserts black to match the truck. But man, I was miffed about that. Jeez. And then I wired in these LED um, headlights. Oops. Wired these in. They're super simple. Really easy, just quick connectors and all that fun stuff. And yeah, it looks looks good. I really like the look of this thing. I thought I think it turned out pretty nice. Then you got man, I just love this Raptor bed liner stuff. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much my truck right there. That's what I've been working on for so long. Um, yeah. So that's my project right there. Planning on selling this thing. So see how that goes hopefully I get get some money off of it from what I put into it but yeah I know it's good truck Raptor bedliner I would honestly say if you're thinking of putting it on there do it it looks sweet and you can take your paint code for your truck and uh, or whatever vehicle you have just take your paint code in and the tint stuff that you add to it will match your paint code and it'll look sweet um, I could have added a lift kit and stuff to it, but I just, I like the simplicity of it. You know, I don't want a big jacked up truck. I just like having a nice, just a nice looking truck. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, if you're thinking of doing Raptor bed liner, this helps you out. Super easy to do. But, yeah. Take your supermodels